select group of scientists and inventors from across the continent will gather here in Rep City for the Grand Science Fair. By far the most prestigious inventors competition in the world. The winner can expect the exalted respect of his peers, his picture in all the papers, and let us not forget, enough cash to keep a rep in colas and ice cream through the next ice age. <laughs> With this, the ultimate fruit of my most timely travail, I shall be the incontrovertible king of the inventor's fraternity. transform worthless coal into priceless diamonds. How can I fail to win this year's science fair? I will be the most famous scientist in Rep City. <laughs> and the richest. <laughs> Programming the most limbically stimulating Pangean rhythms. Combined with grasshopper serum and rubber tree sap, I have designed the world's first fully automatic, ready to shuffle, requires no instruction, tap dancing shoe. And all this, dear Myrna, thanks to your generous sponsorship. Uh, Ed, you know I'm proud to sponsor a project with its feet in the performing arts. Who knows? If it works out, I can rent these to my customers on their way to the dance floor. The dancer simply clicks his heels and... Presto! Oh, oh, oh. Do you hear me? It, it appears that I uh, may have put a milliliter too much uh, helium in the heel and spring in the soul. Uh, 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 I had better address this problem before my presentation. Oh, Ed, are you all right? <laughs> It would seem relatively credulous, if not gauche, to gain mirth at my expense. I'm not sure what you just said, but if it has something to do with your inventions not working perfectly, don't worry. It's not like it's the end of the world. How could you ever understand? Try me. I have a brother, the bad egg of the family, Phineas. Of course, he shares the intellectual superiority, which is the genetic legacy of our evolutionary line. Yet he has always applied his birthright to his own personal gain. And he's a highly competitive type. Sounds like sibling rivalry. Oh, call it what you will, Myrna. He shall be presenting an invention of his own at the Grand Science Fair. And if he wins... I would simply never live down the shame, nor the verbal abuse. Oh, then there's the annual family reunion. Oh. I'm going to need your help, boys. This one's too delicate for the metropolitan men in blue. Hey, it's great! That means to be enough donuts for everyone! Save the lines for showtime, Bubba. So, what do you need from us? As you may or may not know, the reps down at National Defense are always working on top-secret, low-profile... High-cost, multi-simoleon. Leave it to Bernie to cover the financial angle. The reptiles up at the Capitol are never stingy when it comes to matters of national security. <clears throat> at any rate, those Capitol critters employ a chief inventor in charge of defensive contraptions. Please study these carefully. It ain't possible! It's incredible! It's grainy. It's Ed. Almost, but not quite, boys. The rep in the photo is Phineas T. Edison, the professor's brother. Phineas is a great inventor. He's involved in any number of top-secret federal contracts. This, of course, makes him a prime target for... The, the corporation. corporation! Exactly. Phineas Edison will be presenting a new contraption of some kind at tomorrow's Grand Science Fair. Make sure nothing happens to him while he's within Rep City limits. Got it? Got it, Top Cop. Have no fear, head fed. We'll be on them tighter than a wet belt. Yeah, close it in peanut butter and jelly. Faster than a lizard's tongue. In other words, Inspector, Phineas will be safe in our hands.
So, Doctor, what news do you bring me from the science fair? I've been following it in the journals. I've heard whispers through the grapevine. I've had my ear to the track. And now, I've seen it in the program. Phineas Edison will be unveiling a device of untold sociological, and need I add, financial value at 12 o'clock tomorrow. So, what is it? Another thermonuclear bed warmer? Uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, Thermonic called in that. Uh, uh, Thermonic, can you move nuclear out? And uh, what you said, BB? Oh, uh, no. My sources at Notre Dame University tell me that Phineas has perfected a machine which can create precious diamonds from coal. <laughs> coal into diamonds, hmm? Yeah, yeah, BB. Coal into diamonds. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's what he said. Oh, this puts a whole new face on the strip mining business, big boss. We, 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 we have to have it, BB. Yeah, oh, we gotta have that doohickey, BB. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me BB. I want this diamond machine, and I want it now. I gotta cut back on white sugar. I hear that train a coming. Oh, I come in right on time. Why didn't Ned want to come with us to meet his brother? Ah, you know those inventors are a competitive bunch. Hey, and put that on top of sibling rivalry. Some of you, of course, wouldn't understand. Hey, you're right. There's no competition here. <laughs> Check this bicep out. Oh, yeah? Well, bicep. <laughs> Okay, okay, cut the clown and guys. We're here to do a job, and if I'm not mistaken, there's Phineas. What do you say we introduce ourselves and lend him a hand? I don't remember Bissell saying anything about helpers. Who are those reps? You must not place the orange crate on the bottom, and the blue, keep it upright. It needs air. Right, pick up that box. Yeah, yeah, you pick up that box. Phineas Edison, I presume. We'd like to welcome you to Rep City. Yeah, let me give you a hand with that stuff. T-Rex! What? Get him! You know, I don't think these guys are really here to help. That's not all. Look who just joined the party. <laughs> when that happens. Oh, yeah, well, you'll hate this more. Oh, no, he'll hate this more. <laughs> Wait, you always try to spoil things. I do. Yeah, you do, you do, you do. You always try to go me one better. Hey. <laughs> well, how's that for one better? How'd you like to be in two places at once? I'm gonna split you in half. <laughs> Huh? Ah, oh, put the lights out. Hey, let go! I'm worried about Ed. He'd normally be so excited by the Grand Science Fair, but what with his shoes going haywire and his brother here in town, he's just not himself. Sounds like the old fella could use a pat on the back. Better than a pat on the back, let's collect our sibs and help the professor work the bugs out of those shoes of his. 